welcome back. You're watching Hard Copy coming to you from our studios in Abuja. Our guest tonight is Ezekiel Inya Etok, one of the conveners of the Summit of the Alternatives. And we're talking about the alternatives to the major political parties. Yeah. Let me quickly take you to this you know, question. Some people think it's a bright idea to yeah. have an alternative. I mean, yeah. we've heard it under different guises. Yeah. The third force yeah. was, was yeah. what yeah. President yeah. Abbas Njok called it. Yeah. And we've seen yeah. a number of other movements yeah. come up even, you know, even before he made the suggestion and even after he's made the suggestion. Now, but they don't, you don't seem to agree that the grassroots yeah. is where the political parties need to start. A lot of people think that they should be starting at the grassroots. They should attempt to win positions like the councillorship, local government chairmanship, uh, state houses of assembly. They believe that if they gain traction in those places, then they, be, they can begin to move forward. Yeah. But your group seems to be accusing them of not even trying to challenge the, the incumbent nationally. Uh, isn't that too, being too ambitious? No, I'll tell you, two things have come in that are just amazing. The agenda and then the structure. For the very, very first time, you find the major civil societies in the country coming together under an umbrella. Civil societies? Yes. Not political you know, parties? Not, not political you know, to drive the agenda of the office of the citizen. You know, change happens two ways. It's either the people demand and get it, or we have a visionary leader that comes. We've decided we want to demand and get it. So for the first time, everybody knows about in office enough. Everybody knows about budget. Everybody knows about CDD, Center for the Democracy and Development. Everybody knows about the red card movement. Everybody knows about Yaga, they're not too young to run. And of course, the Nigeria First Project coming together as equal partners. What to do? First, set an agenda. We, in 2015, let me tell you the missing link in 2015. We had a man that we believe, oh, he has integrity, he has integrity. And we all went after it. And yet we had no leadership recruitment criteria. We've been able to fashion that out successfully. We have character, we have competence, we have capacity. Character, competence, capacity. Now, integrity. It's only a sub-part of one of them. Because within character, you have integrity, you have the rightness, you have ethics, values, you have, you know, all those are part of just one. And imagine you choosing somebody on the basis of a part of one out of three. Today we are profiling Nigerians along the lines of character, holistically. You are not only going to have integrity, you are going to believe in the rightness, you are going to believe in fairness, in morals, ethics, all of them come into character. You're going to have competence. What does that mean? You must profile who a pilot is. What's demanded of a pilot? And does he have the prerequisite realm, uh, qualification, capacity? No, not com uh, capacity, competent to run the office of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which is more than being the CEO of Mobile. It's more than being CEO of Mnet. Being more than being CEO of any of these blue chip companies. How do you look at the competence level of the man that you want to put. And of course, you have to put in terms of capacity. Capacity has to do with international exposures, local exposures, physical fitness for the office. So when we profile all these three, we'll now be able to find that this person meets it. Now, finally, we are now using all our networks that we've had before to say, Nigeria, we have been able to get and we're doing that holistically so are you planning to then promote a particular candidate whom you find might meet we are the throwing, criteria we are, that if we're able to find that person we'll mm -hmm. promote we're not shying away from that because we're sick and tired imagine a situation where i want you to look imagine this you are looking through the window a, a girl is being raped and what do you find the brother is just looking and texting you're going to get really angry and tell, go and bust the door and get him. Nigeria is being raped and we are busy telling stories. We've decided to occupy the office of the citizen. And we're going to tell Nigerians that you are the most important person. You're more important than your governor. You're more important than your president. Mm. This, but some people will say, I mean, you yes. talked about how some changes have happened in the last yes. couple of days yes. when citizens have demanded. Yes. Some people believe that you cannot throw away the baby with the bathwater. I agree. That what we currently have is yes. not so bad. But yes. we as a people must demand the changes that we Why need. do we have to choose between bad and worse? When there is good, there is better. Don't we have room for improvement? Why do you have to choose between bad and worse? When there is good, there is better. 
question is, do we have good? Let me tell you what happened. One of my friends told me, my brother, I'm not going to vote in 2015 because it's between good luck and Mr. Barry. And with all due respect, I don't have any whatever for any of the two of them. Okay? And we realized that a lot of people say, look, don't waste your vote because your vote won't count. Now what we are doing is we are networking with INEC. And let me tell you something. You saw on your news today. We are going to put the highest level of pressure ever in this country, civil, on INEC to make sure that our election... For, for first, Mr. President is going to have to sign that the amendment. He's going, to, he's going to sign it. He will sign it. I know he will sign it. And on the basis of that, we are going to stay with INEC on this vote buying. We are mobilizing Nigerians and saying your future is getting destroyed. I'm going to read you quickly a conversation I saw on Twitter in yes. response to something uh, Madam Obiezi quickly tweeted on yes. the summit of the alternative. Somebody yes. said, well, we the citizens will ask if the members of the alternatives were in part of the Siamese twins in the past. Yeah. If they were, then we will know they are part of the people who put us where we are today yeah. and not alternatives for yeah. us. Somebody says... Yeah. You should give them benefit of the doubt. They've yeah. turned a new leaf. And then somebody says, only if they admit that they were part of yeah. or contributed to the wrath and not yes. been going about it as if they were in part of the mess. Now, I, was, I was a member of the PDP. I contested the governorship of my state under the platform of the PDP. Okay? So what we are saying is that I did an open letter to the national chairman of the PDP. It was all over the social media. It went viral. Rebrand yourself. We had enough time to We've tell you. We've seen enough rebranding. No, We've no, seen no, leaving no, parties and no. Saying, Those this are is not, the reason we're leaving. No, this party tell is you, not doing well. No, that's not rebranding. Rebranding means that, look, look all over the country today. We are starting on the mega rallies. Mega rallies, mega rallies. A lot of money is being spent. The question is, do you need mega rallies or do you need town hall meetings where you sit down one-on-one -on -one with the people and tell them, is service the essence of what you are doing or steal the power. Nigerians are intelligent people. When they hear sound bites that make sense, they know it. Are you engaging with the political parties? Oh, yes, we are. Which one of them are you engaging um, with? All of them. Outside, of the, the outside of the two. Outside of the APC, PDP. Do they hold any we promise are, for you? Oh, yes. A lot of them. A lot of them. Oh, they were there. Even the aspirants were there in the two-day summit that we had. And we're now going to know, moving forward, the next thing we're going to have engagement with the parties. We're going to help them understand that every party is government. Every party is government, either in waiting or in action. So if you run a political party, run as a government. Know the issues on ground and be able to articulate them. Don't just be a platform where people borrow to stand for election and come back. We're going to help them to structure, to restructure. We're going to help them with crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. We're going to help them with all these things that we've been ex ex exposed to. And 2019 is going to be a pleasant surprise for Nigeria. Well, it's a process we're watching. Ezekiel Liyaye Talk, thank you so much for coming on Hard Copy. My pleasure. That's the program tonight. Thank you for sharing your honest thoughts with me on the topics which are currently dominating your conversations. They really help shape our conversation tonight. And please let us know sincerely if you consider the other political options viable or tell us what you think they need to do to become viable. Use the handles on your screen. We also hope to get to you with the feedback from our conversation on cultism with Buchi. Your comments were most encouraging. Thank you for watching tonight. I'm Maofe Ogun Yusuf.